Oh my franken goodness, it's the leaderboards! Yay! We all wanted this, right? Um, I'm gonna go over the details on the leaderboards right now, once I pull up my notes that I don't have pulled up for some reason. Whoa. Okay, so at the moment, you can't actually interact with it, but I'm pretty sure that's just because, um, the way it works. You see, the way it works is that every day they're gonna, like, compile the data that they've gathered from the day prior. So today, you're gonna be playing games, and then tomorrow they're gonna upload the results, and they're gonna do that for, like, every day until the leaderboards event ends. Yeah. Okay, so from today to the 26th is when you're gonna be able to do this. If you're in the west coast of the US, it's the 25th, and then like, it's like an hour before midnight, so basically the 26th if you have a sleep schedule. By even participating in the event, you get 2,000 zenny. Oh my god! Four quarters! I'm the richest breaker in the world! Wow, that's garbage. <laughs> wow. Uh, to participate, all you have to do is just make it to the results screen as Raider or Survivor. That's really it. And here, here's the thing, right here. This is why the leaderboards are important, I guess. Uh, the top 100 players of both Survivors and Raiders will both have a unique reward. Um, top 100, by the way. I know this game is pretty small, but like... That's pretty unforgiving, to be honest. <laughs> and like... Well, we'll see what the rewards are, right? Uh, a stamp for uh, starting up the super time machine as survivors and a stamp for downing survivors a Yamcha stamp you gotta get top 100 in either of those to uh, get your uh, stamp no zenny no tickets a stamp right, so I'm on the news board I definitely did just spend 30 minutes talking and then uh, I didn't like the recording so I'm just gonna do it again <laughs> we're, we're back at the leaderboard though here's, here's the deeds right for survivors, survivors, they have to repair the temporal seam, super time machine activation rankings. So, it, it sounds like you have to start up the super time machine, which is like the main objective of the game. How could you have any problem with that? Uh, I'll get to that. So, because this is pretty vague, like I have the website pulled up, I actually have my notes pulled up, but I copy pasted the info on the website to it. Earn scores by successfully activating the super time machine, ranking the top 100 to earn the Goku stamp right there. Sorry. Um, well, I guess before I talk about the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, conditions that we're being graded on, or ranked upon, ranked on, sure, uh, let's talk about our rewards, it's just two stamps, for both Raiders and Survivors, top 100 of each, you get stamps, um, this is horrendous, now, I'm not a stamp hater, I actually love stamps, but to gate this behind a top 100 reward, is so like dude I I myself really want to because it is a stamp but why would a top 100 player want a stamp like I, I'm a huge fan of these stamps bro but I cannot see the general player base going trying to like oh yes I have to wake up at 3 in the morning for the sorry Goku stamp I think the people who want to be top 100 don't give a shit about the stamp that's the thing <laughs> the st these stamps are just bragging rights like and they're not really good bragging rights stamps because this is just a I'm sorry stamp, right? And this is just a 9 pim stamp. Which, I mean, th this one I will admit is a lot better than the Goku one because if it's an I'm him stamp, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a good one in my bucks. I use the Super Vegeta one, right? But this? Why does a top 100 player need Goku to be like, <laughs> sorry? Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, they started up the Super Time Machine, I don't know, 500 times? Uh, top 100 shit? I don't know why they would need to be saying sorry. I don't know why this needs to be bragging rights. Imagine you kill the raider and it's like, <laughs> bragging rights right there. Sorry. That's, that's actually pretty cool, I won't lie. Never mind. But I just don't think these rewards are worth it. Y you know, you have the, uh, the 2,000 for participation, where it's like, the 150,000 for just being top 100, bro. Like that. Where is that? Because I'm pretty sure even Legends gives you a free multi for being top 1,000. So I don't get it, man. All right, let's talk about the conditions that we're being ranked upon. Uh, I said it before, but we're being ranked on the Super Time Machine activating. Uh, so some of y'all may be thinking, well, this is just the primary objective of the game. Like, I don't see any difference. This is like the right way to do it. Yeah, you're, you're kind of right. Uh, here's the problem, though. 
Uh, people who've ever needed to grind the Dragon Tier at one point, or people who would just ever have grinded the Dragon Tier, um, I think you all know about this certain weekly challenge. It's called starting with the Super Time Machine, right? And uh, you all ever do so well in a match that you just end up killing the Raider? Yeah, you know, it's a pretty nice win, right? You you get your victory and all, but um, you didn't start up the super time machine. You uh, you blew the raider's brains out, bro. Sorry, but we're not going to count that as a uh, part of your challenge. Are you fucking kidding me? I was two pixels away from starting up the super time machine, and we killed the raider, so it doesn't count as starting up the super time machine. Even though the super time machine is out, we killed the raider because... In pure happenstance, you never- Killing the Raider is almost never primary objective in uh, the Breakers. It's almost always just happenstance. It just so happens to be that stalling the Raider means you have to fight the Raider, and fighting the Raider means you're dealing damage to the Raider. You do enough fighting, you do enough stalling, you do enough damage to the Raider to kill him. Right? Yeah, no. If they want to do a win con, they're gonna have to do two. The, the two win cons that, that survivors have. Killing the Raider, starting up the time machine. There, there's just no way that you, they can only do one. That's just so dumb. It's just so dumb, bro. You were, you're gonna punish survivors for doing too good? For killing the Raider? For running super attacks that do high damage to pressure the Raider off the STM? Okay, buddy. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, I did say two win cons. ETM doesn't count. I'm glad it doesn't. We don't need ETM gamers. <laughs> we really don't need ETM gamers, bro. This leaderboard thing is starting to sound a lot like ranked, right? Like, right? You're being ranked upon certain actions you take in a video game, and you're, I guess it's public, but I think it's cute as a, like a little mini game, right? Like boxes opened. Like if you're gonna do boxes opened and do like a top 1,000. That's cute. You'll see people run movement builds in. <laughs> You'll see people run exploration enthusiast skills and movement builds to just try and farm as much boxes as possible. Everyone's going to be key rushing. <laughs> I can see why they didn't do that, actually. <laughs> what do you even run as super attacks? I guess you just don't super attack at all. I guess. Whatever. Enough about that. Let's talk about the raider. Alright. We talked about the stamp. It's, uh, it's an I'm him stamp, you know. <laughs> I am Yamcha after all. I am Yamcha after all. Or whatever he sounds like. <clears throat> uh, so for Raiders, defeat the survivors, survivor down rankings. Um, that already sounds pretty bad. Let me <laughs> look at my notes real quick. While in the event leader, oh, while the event leaderboard is open, earn scores by downing survivors. Downing survivors? What's that mean? What's that mean, guys? Um, as far as I'm aware, there's two instances of which downing, a survivor being down, is brought up. So actually, there's only one instance, but I have two pieces of evidence to back up my claim. So, when you don't have a barrier around your survivor, you're, you're like one tap, right? You die to literally anything. You die to like a nut hair of a key blast hitting you. Um, and then your character just falls uh, face first on the ground. It's like, well, you're down. The action log, your kill feed, says you're down. And Trunks will be like, a survivor is down. Can you save him? Uh, is that really it? Is that really what we're grading this on? That's awful. No, you can't do that. No, that's awful. This is this is way too exploitable. I, I know you can get banned. I know you, they're like, I'm assuming they're trying to take your reporting to like a next level because of the leaderboards change. They are talking about, like, uh, uh, you may be removed from the leaderboards if your behavior or your player name is inappropriate. So, it looks like they're being precautionary. Like, you can't do it. For this event, it's kind of just, like, body camp simulator, no? Because all you do is kill someone. Maybe get your evolution gauge if you really want it. Uh, unless you're Goku Black. You don't need it, bro. <laughs> you got it. Goku Black has always played really grimy, where he would down someone, and then just fire off super attacks at anyone trying to get the res to, like, punish you for like trying to pin it, uh, pick up the guy he might not even fully commit to it but he punishes you for like even trying to go for the res by destroying your shield right if you don't have a shield well tough luck you just get down too now they have to worry about two people and he has two super attacks to snipe you with at level two wow <laughs> awful they also removed uh dodging as regular survivors so good <laughs> yeah figure something out bro i don't know 
if you were to do what basically the gameplay plan of level 2 Goku Black is, this is probably the single most exploitable thing they could have ever done. Goku Black, he's gonna super attack the fucking corpse the moment it gets res. The guy can't do anything about it. There's no iframes on Survivor Dodge. Hope he has instant rise, because there's no fucking way he's dodging that. <laughs> that that's so bad. I don't want to see a single Goku Black after this. Uh, luckily, it's not on bleed out times either, so you don't have to camp. But the moment they get res, if they're not running Dragon Clan, you just hit them again and they die, and that's another point, apparently. I I don't understand. Is that really a thing you can do? If it's really based on downs, I'm just gonna go into a Raider game, pick Vegeta probably because he's my favorite, uh, get my three sieves of Saiba, play Nappa, uh, use the Saiba Call, uh, then just kill the Survivor because the Saiba Call is kind of fucking broken, and then put the, the plant Saiba down around their body. I'm not going to immediately go for the person going for the res, I'm going to wait for the- I'm going to go to the skybox, I'm going to wait for the res to happen, and then I'm going to mouth beam the moment they get up. And if they, by any chance, do some miraculous freaking instant rise Jocko ship, well great, they use a cooldown 58 meters away from me, and I'm just going to chase them again, down them again, because they don't have a barrier if they don't have Dragon Clan's heal- like, that is easily the most exploitable thing ever. How is that really what they're grading us on? Because based on the website and what I'm seeing here, that's what they're grading us on. They're just grading us on if you hit the survivor when they don't have a barrier. And when they get downed, right? Not on like if you finish them off, not if you eject them from the game by using like uh, an execution, right? Not if they bleed out, it's if you just hit them and they get downed. Maybe bot has- does bot count? I don't know. <laughs> Probably won't matter though. I imagine they did this because they didn't want you to like think this is just a ranked 0.5 I guess like half of ranked because it kind of just is to be honest like why are we competing for this sh so they they made a more unique win con on both sides right or uh, like a unique ranked condition right like this one is just starting up the super time machine which is what the way damage works not the easiest and this one is just downing survivors which is just Super exploitable. Like y'all heard what I had to say. <laughs> I I don't I don't understand, man. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I guess I can talk a little bit more. Um, if you do get reported, you might just get removed from the leaderboards entirely. So uh, <laughs> your name is inappropriate, or you uh, maybe get reported too much, probably for doing what I said. But hey, like, how can the game fault me for that? I'm technically playing optimal and like playing by the rules that they wanted me to play by bro so like they can't do shit I don't want to hear it <laughs> yeah also you can't participate if crossplay is turned off sorry my non cross players I don't know why you would ever want to do that I guess if you don't want to play the switch players <laughs> racist uh, practice mode not gonna change your rank at all um, dates can change I don't, I don't know why they would ever want to do that except for the times where they have you know they uh, change the uh, <laughs> when they change the uh, season time and whatnot by like a month. Uh, and furthermore, I think I just want to say that uh, the way it works is that they're calculating every day and then showing the results the next day. So if I play a raider match right now, um, it'll take until tomorrow for the leaderboards to update and properly show that score, which is probably why we can't interact with it right now. You see, so. Do be wary of that. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye. I don't have an intro, I don't think. Bye.